Or, uh, something goes wrong horribly like right now but welcome back guys you are watching the dragon invitational here on base trade tv i'm rifkin casted today with namshar hopefully the audio should be a little bit better by now um, mm -hmm. we have taken this into account at this point but please understand guys there's a 10 minute delay required for the casting today so without further ado spawning here in the top right corner of the map from uh what we assume is now mvp of course it is the red terran player center and in the top left, we've got our blue Zerg playing for Team Startail and his life. So life, I would say, is a pretty strong chance in this tournament. Despite the Koreans here, uh, we saw him kick so much ass in our own tournaments. Uh, coming up against center already, though, one of the things, the reason I reference this, guys, is because life barely dropped, like, one game. Or two maps total, I think, in the entirety of the last tournament we hosted with him. Uh, to start this one, he's already t taken it to the ace match. And what's kind of scary is there aren't a lot of Terran players out there that I would say have a chance to knock life out of this, but center's got to be one of them. And he's opening up here strong with some cheese in the game number three. Oh, hmm. I don't... I don't mind it. I kind of like this map for center, though, as a macro map. Since life is not really the kind of player to go for Roach Hydra, that is a good like merry go round. I find kind of difficult to play with. You know, he could have gone for like Hellion Banshee, things like that, because the third base is so far away for the Sir. Like a lot of Hellions would be good against, you know, the kind of style that life plays. But he is going to go for the, you know, double 11 11. So kind of surprising, but we'll see how it works out. One of well, the thing about two racks is, right? Some players, it doesn't matter how good you are in StarCraft 2, some players just can't deal with them. It's it's like a weak <laughs> spot, it's like a kryptonite for some. I'm not sure if life's going to necessarily follow this though, because we've seen him play some fantastic games, and as we pointed out before, his strength lies around this sort of early game tech. You know, the Lings, the Queens, like, that's life for you. Coming up against Center, who's going with the tier racks, yeah, he's only going to have those two tools to use, but they're kind of his best ones. And Scout's is coming. Mm -hmm. Overlord sees no barracks in the main, so immediately pulls drones, waiting to see. So the anticipation yep. here in the scouting formation for life was really nice. If he had misscouted this, this would have actually been horrible. Yeah, so fortunate for life there to get the Overlord into the right base first. So he's gonna see this in time, but loses one drone already. Try to force on the SCB. I don't know why he can get the surface area on that, but uh, one he's will fall. Get it now. One more drone might fall though, yep. Two drones yeah. down. Eight links in production, and the bunkers are not finished. Did so he he's... pull more CVs yet? No, he's actually just keeping them at home. Okay. One more bunker now, but yeah, eight links. Uh, getting this. Now. You know what? The drones are gonna keep the uh, marines zoned until the links come out too. This was really nice about this. So, I mean, these drones might die going for this round. We'll pick off a couple marines, maybe, Ooh. but these need to fall back. Here come the links. One of the bunkers does complete though. Now he's got high ground vision. Yeah. He can hide behind this ramp as well if necessary. Of course, best case scenario, he gets into that bunker, but life chasing off a creep with these slow links against the marines. Getting kited around really nicely here by center. Oh, uh, nice micro by center. And those drones seemingly got us around in the marines, but the marines kind of got out of the drone. Uh, trap. So a lot of drones have fallen. Only What's 11 drones standing. That's still okay if life can hold, though. What's he doing with the Marines here? I figured yeah. he would have tried to uh, push this forward bunker a little bit more, but mm -hmm. you know, this is this is a two racks that's not gonna kill a hatchery. That's not gonna work. You have to do damage with this. Yeah, I mean, we well, don't. Life is at least still on 11 drones. Center up to 15 SAVs, but ooh, going very deep with these Marines. <laughs> on creep too. Always a little bit worrisome. But what I don't like is there's you know there's no CC follow up this like this is all in guys by every definition of the word I mean he's there is no plan B here for center. Well, I mean he's probably least. gonna make a CC right okay, he's gonna make it now because I mean he, he didn't pull any SAVs like you talked about before right so he's gonna have yeah. he's gonna try and uh, transition out of this somewhat uh, since he only pulled those two SAVs total. Can but... control the Marines. Yeah, I mean he's trading pretty well. Life is still on 11 drones, and now center is up to 17, whereas it was 11 to 13 before. So he's slowly and steadily climbing up. But... Oh, he's still bleeding out these links. So like, life, just bulk up your links, man. Wait, <laughs> so impatient. I mean, he's trying to keep the spine car alive, and I understand that that concept here, but it's uh, it, I, I just worry he's bleeding out too much too early. So of course, not range. He has to reposition this, which means the links have to support this. Oh wow! I he's got a chance to use one. I can't believe it. how well this is working. This is working very well. There's only that one spine, and it's not in range of the bunker, and those marines fell. Okay, he's actually gonna line. suck those marines for drones. 
Would like Yo. to see some more focus fire. There we go. Get some more drones down. He's killed a lot of drones this game too. It's worth noting. Normally you see like a couple dead at this point, but the spine guard's like, oops, that's way too close to the bunker. Repositions himself. He does have the transfuse though. Like, oh, he's gonna go for the injury. He's still got energy for transfuse. Like, transfuse the freaking spine crawler. Life, you're better than me in StarCraft 2 in every way possible, and I recognize this, but why are you not transfusing this? Uh, yes, yeah, could have done that right. Okay, Life now moving out with six links, but he's trying to catch some reinforcement marines. But yeah, wow, center 23 SCVs to 12 drones. I mean, Life does have two hatches, but he doesn't have the money to spend his larva anyway, so it doesn't really matter how many bases he has yeah. right now because yeah. his economy is too poor, and the third to see finishing. This is looking really good for center. It's the only time I've ever really seen, and I've cast thousands of two racks at this point. I'm pretty confident to say, maybe not thousands, <laughs> probably like hundreds. So it's still, the thing is, I've seen some of the best players in Europe hold this off. I've seen some of the worst players in Korea fall to this. But the one thing I find so curious here for life is, you know, normally you have to kill that hatchery, you have to knock the base down, and your opponent's still got a drone lead. Usually, just do the larva mechanic. But oh, he's gonna lose an overlord too. Oh no. Oh no. This is not something he can afford to lose at this stage of the game. He actually doesn't have the money to replace this, and this will supply block him. Yeah, well, he does too have two overlord finishing, but yes, it is very expensive at this point because he just wants to be making drones right now. And on top of this, I mean, life had that extractor very early in the game, but he didn't, you know, mine any gas obviously because he's focusing on defending that two racks he doesn't have speed on the way and center went for the greedy transition as well he went for the third cc before his factory and gases so that third cc is already finished gonna pump out scvs at a very you know a quick rate and looks like he's just gonna be going into tanks to be kind of safe after the greed maybe i don't know yeah there we go gonna go for tank production well one marine kiting uh, vigorously here does actually kill everything here, no problem. Life, yo, I gotta say, like the one problem we're seeing consistently out of him in this game, and it's it's it feels so dangerous to criticize a player like Life. He's really throwing away a lot of lings. No, I should say a small amount of lings a lot of times. I mean, how many have died? Yeah. Have, like 38 lings have died this game. Yeah, that was. I mean, Santa was controlling that really well too, though. Like I thought for sure that 2x was gonna get fended off. And life was going to come out very much ahead there. But the That's, Marines yeah. just kept trading. Very good micro. Just kept trading so well. And well, he's nice. going to lose some Marines now. But life has been making a lot of circlings. And he's getting speed. But I mean, he's. Okay, he's making drones now. I think he's planning on doing like a. <laughs> it's cross still your though, fingers, make a lot of links, and try and kill center. But center scanned and saw a lot of links popping. And then I think life was like abort mission back to making drones. But I mean. Ooh. I mean, you're right. The thing here, too, is like with that tank up, banelings are yeah. suddenly no longer really an option. Those are going to get sniped off from so far away. You don't know whether it's one or two. Life playing kind of in the dark here, and it's it's finally time for him to start getting the drone count caught up. But because he had invested so heavily in these lings, I mean, 35 drones to 51 SCVs? When do you ever see this happen? Yeah, those links, I guess maybe he was afraid of like a big, you know, marine follow-up push. Like if those Raxes just keeps pumping marines, you know, one by one the whole time, then, you know, you're going to need those 20-ish speed links. And oh my god, okay, speed finishes just in time there. Um, but I mean, Santa did take up quite quickly here, so he doesn't have that super high marine count that you sometimes see the Terran uh, move out with. Uh, so those speed links, yeah, kind of a unnecessary investment. Those links could have been drones, and life was already very behind as it is. Um, Center already landing the third CCs. This is looking very bad for life. Starts 1-1 one, one now. He's just gonna try and macro out of this completely normal, but he's way too far behind, man. I don't know. I don't see this working at all. Center going to five Raxes now and gonna start uh, Hellion production for those Hellbats. Soon, right, so I, I think this is where one of the big problems for the game comes into effect because life. You, you're not Terran. You can't force a defensive engagement and then counterattack. And, you know, for center, he, his, he, he's wishing life would push into him. He, he wants <laughs> things to run into that tank fire, right? I mean, that's his best case scenario, yeah. even if he was the one behind in this instance, which he's not. He's ahead by a very large margin. Um, his mm -hmm. marine count is going to be sorry to deal with, even with good banelings, which are still so far off from happening. I'm liking the idea of these run buys from life, but he does get caught here by the Hellions, maybe? Oh, no. Does center not see oh. that? Yeah, that's nice. I mean, this is something life has to do to get back in the game somewhat. That tank is going to be effective versus the links, but there are no marines in the bunker, so unless center sorts that out, that's... Uh, I mean, that tank can just get surrounded by the links, so... Ooh, he's looking for the links. I like this by center because, I mean, he's playing versus life, right? There's going to be links somewhere, so... He yeah. around, doesn't find them, though. 
Oh, that's spike going into the nuts. third. This is. Wow. This is him wishing he had all the links back at home. The Hellings are actually so far off, but life's gonna GG and. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, first one out of the tournaments. <laughs> I I want to just take a wow. moment here to, to stress how crazy that is, guys, because life. Life won the big tournament we threw. <laughs> like. Yeah. Real easy. And that's up against some uh, really good Terrans, but center. Round of applause, man. Knocks out life. That's no small feat. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. I mean, I did not expect the Proxyrax there, and... I, I mean... You know, when Life pulled those four or five drones to start, I was like, he's got this. You know, yeah. that bunker's never going to get up. The Marines are going to be so hard to connect anything, but uh, he handled the... that really well. Yeah, and the barracks, I mean, they're, they were kind of far away, right, from the base of Life as well, so mm. the reinforcements were always going to be later than, like, a like a proper two-player proxy racks, you know? So, like, it's always going to be less... Uh, the timing is going to be, uh, you know, not as fast on a three-player map, but, yeah, he made it work. There was some good control by center, and life was being able to deal with it. So, yeah, kind of an uh, unexpected result. <laughs> yeah. But congrats to center. All right. I'm trying to figure out why my camera is making me all orange here, guys. I have no idea. It's white balance. Yeah, you, 